All right, well, we're going to try it again, you guys. One more try. Hey, everybody. Hopefully, we've got it happening now. <laughs> we'll see, huh? Huh? Honey, when I... The whole thing failed. I didn't have no choice to do anything with it. It wasn't there for me to save, delete, do anything. Hi, Stephanie. Welcome, welcome. Say hello, you guys. I think that's what they mean when Facebook kicks them out. Sharon, welcome to the party. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Ron, how you feeling, sweetie? Are you feeling okay, girl? Hi, Miss Diane. Welcome to the party. <laughs> Trying it again. It booted my butt. You guys always tell me how it boots you, and it popped up a little box. It said some stuff, and I said, wait. And on the third wait, I just said, finish, and I was gone. So, I'm not finished. Fail. I don't know what it said now. Something. Okay. Rhonda, honey, what's going on? You just got to that too, Diane. It's a no more. Hey, Victoria. Rhonda, honey, is the is are you not responding to your insulin? Is that what's going on, or are you eating birthday cake like I am? <laughs> Thank you, Miss Victoria. Yes, you're back, Janet. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. It was just kind of crazy. Usually doesn't do that, but tonight it was not happy with me at all. Oh, it sounds like you need some insulin help. Severe is what it sounds like to me. So you're just taking metformin? Are you on the max dosage, dosage of metformin? Hey, Mary. Welcome to the party. Thank you, Miss Samantha. Welcome, sweetheart. How's that baby tonight? Is she still going strong? <laughs> I'm taping labels. I um, did not feel good today. I had a bunch of stuff I had to go take care of. I have appointments all this week. So does Chuck. And it's just like one thing after another. Hey, Jaletta. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, you guys. Thanks for, thanks for uh, sharing and inviting your friends, you guys. Thank you so much. She went down early tonight. Well, you're wearing her out, girl. You're doing your job, Samantha. You gotta wear them babies out to put them to bed. <laughs> That's good. Thank you guys for getting that dolphin out there. You guys are um, Sunny and Cher is dolphin. <laughs> for I got lots of new folks on tonight. I like that. Um, you guys, we don't have any orders at all. I don't believe so. Anybody that wants to hit that shop now button, there's not gonna be any wait.
Oh, Rhonda. Oh, I can't believe that, girl. I can't believe they let you walk out of the hospital with your blood sugar being 100, 700 and something with no nothing. That's ridiculous. At 408, you need to go back to the hospital because you are so close to DKA, girl. You have It's terrible. Terrible. I don't mean to be crazy and to be a witch about it, sweetie, but, um, yeah. Oh, I'm going to be <laughs> on rage about it. Yeah, sweetie, I think you need to head back to the hospital. No <sighs> joke. Because at any point in time, you could just pass out. That's why you're lightheaded. Your blood sugars are way too high and your blood is acidic. I've learned way too much about this one. And, uh, ketoacidosis. Ketoacidosis, DKA. And then you go into coma. Yeah. It's shock. You need to have it taken care of before you reach that point. I got goosebumps, Miss Rhonda. You went to the doctor, it was 408, and they sent you home. No. Wow. No. Oh, my God. No, Rhonda, honey. No. Wow. No. You need to go to the hospital. Sharon knows what she's talking about. Hours ago. Yeah. When our Cheryl Ann goes to Providence and her blood sugar is 250, they admit her. They admit her on the spot at 250, and that girl always runs in the 200s because she doesn't want to run low because she's got the three boys. You need a new doctor, like Miss Victoria just said. <laughs> oh, honey, Rhonda, that's not good. Not good. Don't you just hate that when they don't... That's like when they gave me my hip replacement and sent me home and told me, do what you can do. <laughs> if you don't get the numbers under control, that's right, you're going to end up with kidney failures. Oh, you guys, there's Miss Jessica. I remember Jess being on before. She is an RN. You need to go in now, honey. Well, you know what? That, that glima pride's not working, hon. You need to go to the hospital. Where's your husband? Where's your children? And I'm not joking, Rhonda. You could lay down to go to sleep tonight and not wake up. Not to mention losing your eyesight. Just like our little Cheryl Ann. She just about lost hers. She had some stellar doctors that fixed hers. I'll tell you. They legally blinded her in one eye, you guys. And it, she was able to get it to come back with some really crazy um, injections. You're going to love this. It was, um, they gave her injections into her eye that um, they give men for prostate cancer. And that is what saved her vision. Oh, Rhonda, honey, you need to go in, sweetheart. You can't wait till tomorrow. Like I said, if you go to sleep tonight, you run such a high chance of not waking up. Remember, Sandy? It is. It is just as serious. It's a good medication once it's under control, but not to lower it once it's already there. That makes total sense. That makes sense. It goes both ways. Yeah. Your husband had those eye injections, Diane? It's a miracle. She can see. And she was almost blind. I mean, like I said, she was legally blind in one eye. Oh, it just gives me goosebumps. Rhonda, honey, I'm worried about you. All right, you guys, we don't have any orders tonight. Has anybody seen Carrie Johnson on? Carrie Johnson is such a sweetheart. Do you guys see this little necklace I'm wearing tonight? Carrie has an Etsy shop and, and does stuff. And I don't know that this is part of her Etsy shop or if this is just something special she gave to me because she loves me. But anyway, um, and then the other thing I found out today um, when she sent me a Christmas card with the package is her name is Kara Lee. 
C-A-R-A-L-E-E. -E. Spelled differently than mine, so it's Cara instead of Carol. But it's pretty dang close. Hi, Miss Sandy Brits. Yeah, right, Rhonda, but they thought they had it under some sort of control, honey, and then it took off again. And so you really need to go in, Rhonda. Oh, Diane, I'm so sorry, honey. It is so scary. So this is my little gift from um, Carrie. It is a Celtic knot. And then she also sent me this. This one's an amethyst stone. An amethyst stone with some rosy quartz um, in it as well. And then this is just a rosy quartz one that I can run my chain through in the Celtic knot um, style. So that's kind of cool. And I think I'm going to have Chuck check into it. I don't care, Rhonda. Gosh, girl. Just a support party tonight, Jessica, if that's what it ends up being, girl, because I'm all about it. <laughs> Sandy Brits, honey, thank you very much. Chuck's like, oh, Sandy bought one. <laughs> I said, oh, she was probably just sending me money because she loves me. So, you guys, I am so excited about this little gift that I got from Carrie. But other than that, Carrie has an Etsy shop, and so she sent me a couple of um, little pictures. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, somebody get Judy Elaine on the phone because Judy Elaine will call 911 if she has to. Somebody get Judy Elaine on here so that we can get this rolling. Even Donna Donna Withers. See if we can't get Donna on. So this is something that Miss Carrie um, makes and sells on her um, her site, her Etsy shop. They're so cute. I just love them. It's 400, 408, Sandy, and our damn doctor sent her home this afternoon. Oh, Jess, it's only a couple days. <laughs> it's only a couple days, girl. So here is, they're made out of like, they're, they're made out of the wood spools. She doesn't have a checker. Victoria, they sent her home from the hospital with blood sugar in the 200 on Sunday. Um, but they sent her home with new medicine thinking it would take care of it, and it didn't. It rose back up to 408 when she was at the doctor today. They sent her home at 408 this afternoon. So I really think, Rhonda, you need to go to the hospital. Because, yeah, she does not have a checker. It's a meter. It's ridiculous. The health care, you guys... Oh, the health care in the United States. It's so sad. It's, it's so sad. So, if anybody's interested in these cute little Christmas ornaments that I purchased from my Miss Carrie. Got these from our little Carrie. I know they're trying to get the insurance to pay for it. Are you are you are you out of your mind? They have free ones right there. Yeah, at least go and get them checked again. That's for sure. So these are so cute, you guys. I just can't wait to see them, the light dancing off of those on the Christmas tree. I think those are going to be so precious. Aren't those cute? So then, as you guys all know, this weekend is my Angel Baby weekend, and um, she makes these as a um, like a Christmas ornament and they're little angels I'm gonna see if I'm gonna see if Cheryl Ann doesn't have one Victoria and I will send it to her um, then you'll still have to end up having to buy your strips but at least you have a meter that you could check with I'm sure she's oh so the doctor sent it in but they didn't put the code on it so yeah oh. Hi, Patricia, honey. Welcome to the party. Yeah, you need to maybe just go see them again and see if they won't hook you up with something, Rhonda. You, I don't think you should go home. I don't think you should go to bed tonight. 
So I asked her, she makes some like little ornaments. So I asked her if she could make me keychains. And so she did. She made me three precious little keychains. You'll get it tomorrow. Rhonda, it's if you survive till tomorrow, honey. You don't realize how dangerous um, your diabetes, your blood sugar is. It is, it is beyond... Miss Carrie, our little Carrie. Carrie Johnson made these. Aren't they precious, you guys? That's just it, Sharon. I don't I don't think she'll wake up from that. So and you guys, these are completely affordable. I do not remember. I know it. These little angels. I don't remember what how much they were, but they were they were nothing, you guys. She's in Kentucky, Sharon. Rhonda, I know your address, girlfriend, is sitting right here in front of me because I'm getting ready to mail you a package. I'm going to send an ambulance. So those are cute. So if anybody's interested in some little ornaments, Carrie Johnson on the party, you could always go back to one of the other parties and click on her name if she doesn't hop on tonight. I got these. I didn't have time. Um, I didn't have time to um, message her and say, hey, Kara, I got these. Because I messaged her and said, nah, the mail didn't come till 7 o'clock. <laughs> well, the regular mail came, but these were like a little package. So, Because she sent me a necklace. Those are so cool. I am just loving it. And then, you guys, I got the coolest thing for my boy today. That's a good idea, Sharon. The fire station. The fire station is the ticket. I remember when my mama was sick with cancer and um, my mom and dad were down in the Yakima Valley visiting um, his mom and his daddy, my grandparents. And uh, dad just happened to be driving through the little town of Zilla. And my mom started having a seizure right there in the truck. And he just drove her straight to the fire station like three blocks away. And they took over and, and did all the stuff they needed to do. So the fire station, it's free and no waiting. <laughs> I like that, Sharon. That's for sure. Yeah, Sandy Brits didn't want to go either. She didn't think she had a heart attack, but she sure as heck did. We need to get somebody, um, please message Miss Judy Lane. One of you girls message Judy Lane, please. I can't do it because I'm on here. But we need to get Miss Judy Lane or Miss Rhonda Kirk. I'm drinking water and doing better. Rhonda, can you go for a walk? Because if you, you, if you walk, that's another way to bring it down. If you get exercise. But anything you eat, obviously, is turning to eat. You know, Cheryl Ann doesn't even have to eat, and her blood sugar will skyrocket when she's getting sick. They only charge if you take the ride, huh, Jessica? There you go. There you go. That's scary. I had to call one morning for Cheryl. She was pregnant with Aiden Chuck. And uh, I woke up to Zader made crying, and which was I never did. So it kind of freaked me out. Everybody else was gone to work, and I go in there, and Zade's in the crib crying, and Cheryl is out cold in bed. And I kind of tried to wake her up, and uh, and uh, wasn't happening. <laughs> I hear it, Sharon. We all did. I don't know what to do about it either. So. If we get Judy Elaine on, we'll see if she won't. But I called 911 first time ever. First time ever. So, I don't know. It's the last time, too. I told her, don't you ever do that to me again. <laughs> she scared the heck out of me, man. Yeah. Jiminy's. All right, you guys. We have party bombs. We have oyster drop. We have tons of oysters to open. Does anybody want to have a party? Oh, and then today I went shopping a little bit because I had to go do some other stuff. And even though I didn't feel good, I did a little bit of shopping anyway. 
Um, I'm going to do some Pamper Me grab bags. They're going to be separate from the other grab bags. And uh, they'll just be for sale during the regular parties. I haven't put a price on them yet because I have to get all my stuff out and see what all I have and see what they're going to cost. They will be Pamper Me stuff and they will be Oyster stuff. I never watched Till Magnolias. It made people cry, and so I didn't watch it because I didn't want to cry. Um, Rachel, honey, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no clue what you're talking about. We don't send people anywhere to search for people. We don't invite people either. They just come as they want and do as they want. So I apologize if you feel like I've overstepped my boundaries, but I have not. It's not about viewers for me. I got 19 viewers. I usually have 40. Thank you, Sandy. That's the best I can do is message Sissy and have her find somebody local to go check on Rhonda. Because I think she's got kids right there in town. So... Do, 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 Hmm. So how's everybody doing tonight? That kind of threw me for a loop. I don't know what that was. <laughs> hey Angie, how you doing? Hey Kendra, welcome, welcome. <coughs> yes, that's our Sunny and Cher word. Don't forget to set your dolphin free. <laughs> and then every time you do that, we know our our um our dashboard shows us all that stuff. So we don't try to hide it. It don't do much good. You know, they know what's going on. I like it if you hit that share button, scroll up to your friends list, and invite all your friends. That's what I like to do. So. But anyway, so you guys want to look at some jewelry tonight? I mean, we could look at jewelry. Is it cold up here? It's too bad. You know, it seems really cold, Kendra, but it's way colder up north where everybody is. It got down to 20 last night. Oh my gosh, Kendra, I should call my dad and see how he did. Um, we're, we haven't even, it hasn't even frosted. It's it did last night. Oh, Chuck said it frosted last night. Um, we, um, it, it's supposed to get kind of cold, but it hasn't gotten too cold. So, we're waiting. Um, I act like it's freezing. I bought t-shirts. I never wore t-shirts in my life, but I now bought like tank top t-shirts to wear under my shirts. I'm getting old down here. It's kind of windy and rainy though, and so that's what it is. It's chilly in Athens, Georgia, and that's kind of how it is here in Oregon too. Down to 27 and, ooh, you must be in the mountains, Victoria. You must be, is Kingman in the mountains, honey? Because that sounds really chilly. 71 in Florida. Samantha, you little stink. Oh, <laughs> hey, Samantha, does it get humid in the wintertime when it's warm like that? or It's raining in Louisiana and getting cold. See, if we didn't get the breeze going up here, it wouldn't be too bad. But when it rains, you kind of get the breeze going. And so it kind of cuts right through you. And then I wear my tennis shoes and my feet get wet and I need to bust out my, 
I got snow boots, you guys. They wear, they wear rain boots here. And I don't like rain boots, but I like my snow boots. <laughs> oh my gosh, 27 in Kentucky. Hi, Samantha Jane. Where have you been, girlfriend? 82 in Florida. Oh my gosh, Samantha. See, and the wind blows down home too, Samantha. Down, or Kendra, down there in Prosser, the wind blows coming off those. I didn't know it was a desert, but it is a desert. <laughs> hey, Miss Lisa Hayes. Hello, hello. I can't remember where Samantha is. I just know she's a Florida girl. It was 54. It was pretty nice here. The sun was shining. It's like if I get up in the sunshine, I was like, come on, Chuck. Out the door we go. And he does. he's not used to me being that way because I'm kind of a homebody. But Oh, my gosh. You're at 3,333 feet, Victoria. We're at like 200 here. <laughs> 18 and super cold in Wisconsin. Oh, my. See, I've never been that far east. I'm telling you, I got pretties too, Dora. I got lots of pretties. You guys know I do. Get that shop now button, girls. Um, we can do party bombs for 20 bucks. Fort Myers. Sister lives in St. Cloud. Ah, you're all over the place, girl. For sure. And I don't even... The only people I know in Florida are my Pearl Girls. So that's kind of crazy. A lot of you girls down there in Florida get on, though. Keep that nasty cold up there in Wisconsin. I wonder how the Dakotas are doing. I know, Dora. I'm in the same boat. I was out shopping around today. And stuff is just expensive. The grocery store is scary these days. You live at the very top of... Oh my gosh, you are. Too cold. Hi, Megan. How you doing, sweet girl? Welcome, welcome. So St. Cloud's only 20 minutes from Orlando. Well, that's yeah, pretty nice weather then, huh? Pretty nice weather. Hi, Cynthia Renee. How you doing, sweet girl? How are you doing? You guys want to look at a couple of pretties before we hop off here? Let's get some orders, you guys. Click on that share button. Scroll up to your friends list. Invite your friends. You never know when one of them is going to be interested in pearls. I wasn't until I seen them. So, doing good, Megan? Good, good. So we got lots to open, but I think I will show you some oysters, some oysters. Who wants to look at oysters? I'll show you some jewelry. You guys, one thing I want you to uh, think about is you can order jewelry up until the 15th of December. On the 15th, we will stop taking orders. And then... Chuck will make jewelry, and they will all be shipped out um, on the 17th. So Dawn or Dawn went and shared my party on another Pearl Party page. You went snooping for a bit. Now, how do they do that? See, and I don't know who Dawn is. I mean, I have a Dawn, but my Dawn wouldn't do that. Um, she doesn't watch any other Pearl Party. She only watches this one. She's like my Sandy Brits. And, uh, I mean, my Rhonda Kirk, my Judy Elaine. We do share it to groups, honey. Yes, we do, Samantha. Yes, we do but not, not troll groups, and we don't share it into pearl parties. We share it into groups. They copied the link and put it in the comments in your live party comments. 
Wasn't that sweet? See if you can find out who did that. Jessica, Don, I don't, Don, Don, so, I don't know. That's not how I get customers. I have never done that. Trouble causers come and go. They do. So, but I didn't see, I did see a Don hop on a couple nights ago. You heard a lot of bullshit. But, uh. A lot of people. Oh, okay. Miss Ronnie Kirk ordered a potty bomb. Right. Right, Samantha. Yeah. Well, see, that's where you put them in the groups. You share into groups so people can find your party. But, um, yeah. So I just would like to figure out who Dawn is so that I can block them from my party so they can't come to my party and share my party where it's not supposed to be. Because that's just not how I operate. Hi, Miss Ellie. How have you been, sweetheart? Hello, hello. Thank you, Maggie. I knew you'd be all over it, girl. <laughs> all about pearls. They are live now. Here we have the pretty little snowflake. The pretty snowflake, sterling silver. I got four large pearls in it right now. It will hold up to seven pearls if they're tiny enough. I'm not real sure, Linda, because I think I, I was taken by storm myself, sweetheart. I don't know. I'm just going to try and move forward. We're going to open, we're going to do Miss Rhonda Kirk of Green Party Bomb here in just a minute. Here is the Miss Rhonda Kirk. Or the Miss uh, Pamelita, the Miss Pamelita. The dancing dolphin, the pretty little dancing dolphin. All these little rings I'm going to show you guys are $39 a piece. $39. Whoops. Thank you, Linda, honey. Here is the little uh, branch, the pretty little branch, it's got a real nice, uh, a real nice uh, band on it, adjustable on the bypass. Thank you Ellie. Here is the Miss, or the Miss Teresa. The Miss Teresa, it is a size 7. It adjusts from about a 7 out to an 8, 8 and a half. Very pretty. Here's the Miss Amber. The Miss Amber Little Princess. $39. They're all $39, Miss Linda. Free shipping. If you don't see the colored pearl you would like, you can pick a pearl. Here's another little dancing dolphin. Dancing dolphin with the turquoise blue pearl. Here is the uh, little dancing dolphin with the green pearl. Dancing Dolphin with the Green Pearl. The Miss Teresa Infinity.
The Infinity is a size 7 and it does adjust out to about an 8, 8 and a half. Just the pretty little pink Miss Amber. The little Miss Amber, the little princess. Here's the Miss Barb. Oh, nope, this is the Dancing Dolphin. Picked the wrong one up. The Dancing Dolphin. Pamelita. Pamelita in yellow. And like I said, you guys, you can just spout pick any color you would like to pick. Hi, sissy. I will see you. Here's Pamelita in a coral rose. A coral rose. The Kelly ring. The Kelly ring is a size 7 only. It is a very nice ring. Very heavy duty ring. Protects your pearl. The Sharon Kelly ring. $39. It is a very nice ring. Here's the Miss Barb. The Miss Barb. It is a size 7 and it just out on the bottom, out to about an 8, 8 and a half. Here is the Miss Mini, the Miss Mini, the Starburst. It is a 7, just out to about an 8, 8 and a half. Very pretty with the copper pearl. Here's the Miss Cynthia Renee, the Miss Cynthia Renee with about a 10.5 mm gunmetal gray. Gorgeous! Absolutely amazing. Sterling silver, you guys. It is a seven, adjusts out to about a sub eight, eight and a half. Here's another Miss Mini with the uh, a natural pink pearl. A natural pink pearl on this one. Size seven, adjusts out to about an eight, eight and a half. Will you give me a bowl of water, babe? Yeah. What I was to okay. And here we have another Miss Cynthia Renee with a large semi baroque on it. This pearl is amazing, you guys. So pretty. These rings are $65. The last four that I showed you are $65. It is, Sharon, it is amazing. I love that pearl. That was my pearl that I always put in my lotus cage. But it just fit perfectly, and I decided it needed to be there. So, yeah, it is very gorgeous. And um, like I said, a size 7, and it's not too big, and it's not too gaudy. You know, I haven't talked to her for a couple of weeks, Miss Ellie. I have just been so busy. I haven't talked to her. She was on a couple nights ago, I think. So, well, it's been about a week ago she was on, I guess. So, all about pearls. I'm going to have to message over there. I'll let them look at it, babe. I think it's a cross. No, it's not. It's not. It's somebody being stupid. Well, that's what I mean. It's trouble causing. You know what? I didn't get no towels for tonight. <laughs> Will you grab them for me? They're beautiful, that is for sure. Thank you, babe. All right, Miss Rhonda, we have two green left. Two green. Is, Cher is Sheila here? Is Miss Sheila here? I have not seen Sheila. What are you talking about, Sandy Brits? All right, Miss Rhonda. Miss Rhonda, we only have two green ones left. Number one or number two, Miss Rhonda. Miss Linda Slater's from Florida. No, I have not, honey. I she commented on a couple of things. Hey, Jessica, we're right here in Newburgh, girl. 
I didn't realize you were so close. Um, I haven't, Sheila commented on a couple of things, but um, I haven't talked to her. Here we go, Miss Rhonda Kirk looking for, I can't remember, let me grab a blue agate. A blue agate. I'm looking for a blue agate. Yeah. It is really going crazy tonight. Look at it. Oh, okay, Jess. <laughs> um, it's funny. We did a show up in Sherwood this weekend, I guess. If you watch, you know that we did the Elks um, show, the Christmas Bazaar. And we met a uh, family that do pearl part that participate in pearl parties, and so he bought a couple, bought four from us. But uh, he watches Craig or something like that. Crazy Craig, I think his name is. It's a bubbling. It is a bubbling. Hi, Miss Erica. We're doing good, sweetheart. How are you? How's the babies? How are those babies? Cool, cool, Sandy, or Rhonda. It's a going. And then there was a little gal that messaged me from Corvallis, and she watches, um... A different party. I can't remember what one she now. Pearl Shack? I can't remember. Hi, Sherry with the long name. Oh, I bet. I bet, Jessica. All you have is a shower. You went craft shopping today? That would wear you out. I did TJ Maxx today and it wore me out. I, didn't want to, I was ready to come home and be grouchy. You're feeling really old today, Sherry. I'm sorry, girl. I have days like that, too, where I feel really old. <laughs> today was almost one of them. You stayed home today, Miss Sandy? I had to go. I um, found some really cool ideas for my grandson, and I had to go meet a guy today to purchase a couple things, and I can't say what it is because he's on here. Sherry, is today your birthday? <laughs> TJ Max and Marshalls. Yep, I used to work at TJ Max. Miss Rhonda Kirk, you got a rosy quartz, a rosy quartz. Um, rosy quartz, you got an entry into the drawing on December 10th, and you got a Easter opening. So let me add Rhonda's name to this draw, this here list, Rhonda Kirk. 
You're on here a couple times, girl. One, two. Sissy's on here, too. Miss Judy Line. Oh, really? See, and we were going to go to Michael's, and I didn't want to. I suppose I should have. Oh, well. Hey, Jen Jen. Michaels took all Miss Linda's money. <laughs> so, Miss Sherry, is today really your birthday, girlfriend? Well, Sherry, yesterday was mine, and tomorrow is my girl's. That's pretty exciting. That is pretty exciting. <laughs> Whatever, Sandy. You're such a dork. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a killer deal. Well, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sherry. Happy birthday to you. Do you want to order and grab your freebie? If you order two tonight, Miss Sherry, you get your free one. That is the situation. Hey, babe, I need a couple of oysters. Holy cow, Linda. Man, I wish I'd have known that before I went today because I'd have definitely went shopping. I don't know. I don't need no more crap. Okay, Sherry. I was, you didn't message me back, sweetie, so I didn't know. It will be here tomorrow. So let me know when you want an invoice and I will send it to you, Sherry. You don't have to open them. What are you doing? Miss hmm? Rhonda Kirk. Oh, okay. I know it. I wish I had I don't know. I don't need nothing though. I should get busy and make a couple tutus and send them to, uh, I don't know who, but anyway, tutus make my fingers hurt, so. Miss Rhonda Kirk, number one. Number one for Miss Rhonda Kirk. Or number two. Number two. We have one more. Oh, what is in the last green party bomb? I have no clue what's in the last green party bomb. He has no clue what's in the last party bomb either. Number one, number two. Miss Ellie wants the other green party bomb. You have, Erica. I have got so much tutu stuff. It's crazy. And headbands. I used to make all the big ribbon headbands. I need to get back doing it. And if my baby girl ends up having a girl, you just never know. I'll be back and making headbands again. I gotta grab a glove. I did pretty good on making... Uh, Mr. Chuck, I have three gloves left. What did you let your grandsons do? They were rebuilding a Corvette. They were real build, rebuilding a Corvette with my yes. $15 box of gloves. Yes. Well, I hope that sucker runs. <laughs> You're not good at making stuff, Linda. Tutus are so easy, but they're, they're kind of time consuming. And then they're, yeah, they're a pain in the butt. But they're fun. I, I, used, I did a lot of um, Miss Margaret. I made several for Margaret's granddaughter.
Miss Victoria, you do chokers. Cool, cool. All right, so like I was telling you guys, I'm going to be making up a couple, three Pamper Me grab bags. She doesn't like tutus. Yeah, I can't say as a blamer. <laughs> she needs to get the soft tutu style instead of that stuff. This is beautiful. Let me see where to go. Looks like it is a natural, a natural. I um, get the really soft stuff. I don't buy the stuff on the uh, the bolt. I buy the stuff on the little rolls. And I know a lot of people buy the stuff on the big the the big bolts and do it that way. And that's too rough. It feels like sandpaper. Miss Rhonda Kerr, you have a 7.4, a 7.4, and I'm going to say rosy gold, but it may turn out to be lavender, but I'm thinking it looks rosy gold right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yes, Miss Jen, I'm going to do some. Pamper me grab bags. They will have special girl stuff that you might need to try to relax from your stressful Christmas shopping or what have you. Okay. <laughs> so it's just a little idea. Try to come up with ideas and just fun stuff to do. So um, I went out shopping, got a couple little fun things, and I'm just going to got to figure out what else I'm going to do with them and put them together and all that stuff. When you go do this kind of thing, you have to really be conscious about what it weighs because of the shipping thing. So, I kind of really had to like do my shopping around and be, be picky about the kind of stuff I was getting. Hi, Carrie. Look what came in the mail a little bit ago. My Miss Carrie, you get Sydney Privies. Thank you so much, sweetheart. The mail came right at 7 o'clock, just as I was getting on the video, and I'm yanking it open, trying to see what it is, because she told me she sent me a present. I'm like a little kid, too, you guys. I get all excited. So thank you so much, Carrie. I think some of the ladies were um, wanting to talk to you about angels. So, that's our Carrie. That's who made the little angels, you guys, and the little um, Christmas decorations. Yes, I was happy. I didn't, we'd already got the mail out of the mailbox, but he came to the door. He's like, cool, cool. Miss Sandy Brits is in the market for some angels. So, Rhonda, you're going to Florida for Christmas? Very sweet. Very, 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 very sweet. Yes, I'm like a little kid, you guys. I love getting stuff in the mail. And since I started this pro party... Teresa Stevenson, I think, was the first one to send me fun stuff. But, oh no, it was that little gal, remember, that sent me the $50 gift card that said, Only buy pie with me? That's what I did, so. Well, that's going to be cool, Rhonda. Because I got a message from Miss Judy Elaine today. She says she's sitting squat. She's not leaving Florida, Florida. So. There, these, um, I had her make them into keychains for me, you guys. But I think she made them as, um, she'll make them however you want, I think. So aren't they precious? They are so cute. They have stones, they have Swartzky crystals, or however you say that, you guys. But they're so cool. And all three of them are a little bit different. Because, um, well, one's from a girl, one's from my other girl, and one's from me. Aren't those cute? I think they are. Carrie, I should have probably got like 10 of them from you. That was silly. 
I love them though. Aren't they sweet? They're just cute. Little angels. But then, you guys, I love this too. These are the Christmas ornaments. The Christmas ornaments that are made out of spool. And the way I tried to straighten the wire, Carrie, but from when they were in the box, the wire got bent. So cute. I am so excited. Um, uh, when the lights hit this, how it's going to just sparkle and dance. You know what I mean? So, very, very pretty. I love them. She made, these are made out of the wood spools, you guys. They're just so cute. And rhinestones. I love them. I love them. Oh, no. What do you mean, oh, no? <laughs> oh, on the wires? I think I got it pretty well straightened out, though. Well, it still looks a little crooked, doesn't it? I'll work on it. This one's pretty good. I don't care. I just, I haven't got lights put on the tree yet, so I got to get the lights put on the tree, and then I'll start doing some other stuff, babe. Like I said, I don't know what happened. This week is all really, really busy and packed full. And so is so is next Monday. Monday is really packed full, too. So, I don't know. But, yeah, you guys, I'm really digging these. I'm really digging those. So, Carrie, you got some, you got a few people wanting to know about prices and whatnot, if you're interested. Oh, not for quite a while yet, Erica. Not for quite a while. Three fifty, Sandy. They are so sweet, so sweet. That's a good deal, Carrie. That's a good deal. I love them. So I don't know. Um, she wants a boy, but like I said, I think she's wanting a boy because she really wants a girl. <laughs> if I know my girl, she's always did that little reverse psychology thing with herself. So. <laughs> I don't know. Pretty exciting. I am um, kind of just been quiet about it. She goes to her first doctor's appointment next week, and I guess the first thing they do is an ultrasound. So that's going to be pretty cool. Kind of jacked about that. So exciting, exciting, exciting. Hey, do we have anybody else that wants to open tonight? All you have to do is back out of the video. You'll be on the Carolee's Pearl page, and you can hit that Shop Now button. Okay, honey, are you done? You're not having no more? She's kind of trying to keep it low-key and everything, too, till she gets a little further along. She's not, like, putting it on Facebook or anything like that. So she's told family, and, and I've told the world. So, <laughs> but, you know, I don't know all her friends and family, so. <laughs> no more babies, huh? You're all done. Well, you've got a complete family, that's for sure, sweetheart. That is for sure. Oh, that's right, Miss Ellie. Did you send Ellie a invoice check? Um, no, I didn't realize that. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you say anything about it. Um, yeah, she, want the bomb? she wants the green bomb. None of her people are my people, Maggie. Message me, Margaret. Do they come in other colors, Carrie? I think I may have specific... I don't remember. I think I might ask for blue, but I don't know. I don't remember. So Miss Ellie is going... You guys, I'll be honest with you, you can look, the only thing I kept track of is people that are going into the drawing. So these are the names that are going to the drawing. I don't know if that is just an oyster opening. I don't know if that's another entry into the drawing. Or I don't know if it is um, the three oysters. So the only way to find out is to do it. 
She's got lots of colors, you guys. Lots of colors. Carrie, I really like this box you have. It's a cool box. Yeah, Carrie, what is the name of your Etsy store, honey? Should we buy them from the Etsy store? No, nope. we, we just trade oysters. Okay. Sandy wants a green and a pink. Sandy needs a pink, pink, pink. Pink, pink, pink. You've had heartburn for two days now, Jen? Is it heartburn or is it your heart, sweetheart? Linda, Miss Linda. <laughs> You're so silly, girl. <laughs> Miss Linda wants her pearls. Hit that shop now button, girl. What are you talking about, you Sandy and Erica? <laughs> okay, let me write that down. Let me write what happened to my paper? A ton of paper. Heart attack. That's what I was just going to say, Jen. Are you sure it's not your heart? Because that's the same thing Sandy said. I have heart attack. I have heartburn. Take an aspirin, Jen. I had heartburn so bad today, but um, we went to Cracker Barrel. And the only thing I like at Cracker Barrel, because it's the only thing I've ever ate at Cracker Barrel, is a bowl of pinto beans <laughs> and uh, not your heart oh, okay Erica I'm sorry <laughs> I know Margaret you're a dork and uh, you're a dork okay Jen Chuck's been telling me to buy some, and every time I go to the store, I forget to buy them. Good girl, Jen. Jen takes a low dose. Is that it right there, babe? Looks like it. That looks like it. You can also message Carrie through Facebook, you guys, if you want to get some. Um, and she'll, I think she does, don't you do um, uh, invoices do, through PayPal, Carrie? I'll talk to you after the party. You are a dork. You are a big dork, Margaret. Because <laughs> I love you. I love, 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 love you. We never did see Phi come on tonight, did we, babe? Was that a pie or how do you say it? Paya? Okay. Okay, Miss Ellie is back. Here's Miss Ellie. Let's see what it is, girl. I'm I'm wondering myself. No. Nope. Oh, make her wait. You're so ornery, Charles. He's been ornery to me all day, Ellie. Now he's gonna be ornery to you. Make you wait for your bath bomb. Don't say those bad words. 
Home remedy for heartburns, I always did what my mama did. Um, a glass about about six ounces of warm water and a teaspoon of baking soda. Slug it and then you burp like crazy and you feel better. That was what my mom always did and it worked for me too. My dad, he used to take uh, Pepsi and he would chug a Pepsi and then he would burp like crazy and that was how he handled his heartburn. That's what your mom did too, huh, Sharon? Yes. What do you do, Maggie Moo? Sprite and salt, Rhonda? I never <laughs> heard it. Woo, that's like a that's like a cocktail, girlfriend. Yeah, I just buy Tums by the bottle now. Hey Ryan, what's up, man? Beer might work for gas, too, if you're not a beer drinker. I really might recommend the baking soda, Jen. No beer. Beer's gross. I agree. Wow, Rhonda, that's crazy. Just don't eat eggs if you drink beer. <laughs> Pepsi Chewables. That's a new one. Margaret Gooding. I don't know about her. A lot of bubbles. Hey everybody, welcome to Carol Lee's Pearl Party. If you are interested in opening oysters tonight, all you have to do is back out of the video. You will be on the Carol Lee's Pearl page. You can hit that shop now button. It takes you out to the website. Um, oysters are $19 a piece. Two for $37, three for $53. 5 for 77 and 7 for 99 or you could do the 6 to 7 mm's and they are 2 for 25, 5 for 50 and 10 for 99. Good night, Miss Dora. Miss Rhonda Kirk, you got the last bead. Ellie, you got a quartz crystal. Miss Ellie, you got a quartz crystal. You get to open tonight. Ellie, do you want a mussel or do you want an oyster, sweetheart? I will just let you choose. One baby down and one to go. I wish I was there to give those babies some loves, Erica. <laughs> All right, Miss Ellie, we have an oyster. Or would you like to open a mussel? Miss Ellie. Mussel or an oyster? Oyster, oyster, oyster. Miss Ellie's opening an oyster. I gotta put my glove back on, girl. I have this one thumb and it's it's burnt from the stupid salon. I don't know if that stuff's ever gonna heal up. Margaret, they're babies. What are we going to do with you? Good night, Tora, honey. Oh, Ellie, 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 you got a big pretty. Ooh, a big green. This is really a pretty pearl, girl. Gorgeous. It looks like a Christmas ball. I wish the doctor would give me Valium. Mm -hmm. 
Ellie, it is a 7.8. A 7.8. It is a big green, a big green for Miss Ellie. Very, very pretty, sweetheart. Angie, are you here? Angie, are you here? Pretty, 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 pretty. It is an amazing pearl, you guys. It is a she gorgeous. A nice oh yeah, it's a. What do you mean she get a nice one? She opened at Carolee's Pearls. You know she got oh, a nice one. Oh, beautiful one. It's gorgeous. It's like a Christmas ball. Well, I'm glad she got a nice one. She's one of our better customers. She's my Ellie girl. Ellie's always here. This is a cool quartz too, girl. It's got two of them coming off of it. So you got you got a good collection of healing stones coming, Ellie. You need to hold on to them. Maybe put them in a in a uh, little uh, bag or a leather uh, leather bag, and uh, they'll help, girl. They are healing stones. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Hey, Melinda. Welcome to the party, hon. Thank you, Miss Ellie. Now, was that girl here? Who? No. She's not here? Nope. Miss Erica. Erica, Erica. You are the winner of the viewer drawing. Miss Erica. Miss Erica. They want different kinds of stones, Dad. Now, Angie's not here, so we're going to go with Erica. Miss Erica. Did somebody say they wanted a quartz crystal? I don't know. I missed it. Thank you, Miss Ellie. You're a sweetheart, honey. Um, What was I? Oh, Miss, 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 Miss. Erica. Miss Erica. <laughs> there she is. She says, oh, woo, woo, woo. You guys, we have been waiting on pearls since Friday. I am so fed up with the mail system. I can't stand it. Do, 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 do. Jessica, I will send that to you, girl, on your first order. I don't have a problem sending it to you, but I want you to order for it because I don't like to charge shipping, but to do a pay it forward with the crystal. The crystal's not worth the three dollars the shipping is. Gorgeous. There is a coral rose, Miss Erica. It is a six nine, a six nine yellow, a six nine yellow, and a six nine, a six nine silver. A six nine silver. Do 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 do. All right, Jess, I will go ahead and start an envelope for you, honey. And then you know, sending it to you in Portland would be like, okay, I'm gonna send you a crystal. Miss Erica, do you want the silver lavender, the rosy, or? Not rosy. It is a um, coral rose or yellow. Hey, Jessica, what hospital do you work at, hon? Or I guess if you work at a hospital. 
Well, she's an RN. I, you know, not all of them work at uh, hospital. But husband's getting ready to go to St. Vincent's, and I just wondered. Um, I've never dealt with St. Vincent's before, so. Portland Providence. Oh, I gotcha, girl. I ain't going near that place. It's way too big. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I've never done St. Vincent's before, so it'll be a change. You see some specialist there or something. I don't know. Thank you, Miss Erica. Okay, so this is for Miss Ellie. But then, no, that's for Erica. Crystal. Oh, he's just got to go see a specialist at, that's up at that hospital. You know, they don't do nothing in the doctor's office anymore. You always get sent out to a specialist no matter what it is. So he's just going to see a, uh, a gastrologist up in at that hospital. I don't know why. That's just where they're referring to. They wanted to send me to uh, an endocrinologist in Gresham. It's only 40 miles away. St. Vincent's is an amazing hospital. All right, girl. Sounds good. Um, I think I want to say that I had a niece that had baby in that hospital, but I, I'm not positive. I think you're so, right. So, Jess, there starts your envelope, and then you need a crystal for my other girl, Erica. Here we go. Both babies down for the count. There you go, Erica. You did good, Mama. <laughs> you did good. All right, you guys. Do we have anybody else that wants to party tonight? All you have to do is say the word that you're headed to the website, and I will wait for you to come back. So, you guys, go check out Carrie's Etsy shop. She does wire wrapping. Um, with stones and all kinds of stuff. And um, I don't know if she's still on here or not, but I'll let it out of the bat. Um, that's a lot of how Carrie takes care of her um, treatment and whatnot that she has going on. She has to drive quite a ways for her cancer treatment and whatnot. And I do believe that um, that's part of what's going on. So I think I just had a niece that had a baby at St. Vincent's over by Gresham. So I think. Well, not just. About a year ago. I haven't even seen the baby. Isn't that terrible? I'm a terrible auntie. Terrible auntie. All righty, you guys. Thanks, girls, for doing the party bombs. I will get the Pamper Me uh, grab bags together. We'll be doing them here in the next couple of nights. I'm just going to have them. Um, Sandy Bridge, you weren't supposed to tell nobody. <laughs> okay, so yes, Carrie is saying yes. So, but like I say, you guys, I think that helps her out with gas money and uh, whatnot like that. So, driving back and forth for her cancer treatments and stuff. Yep, Chuck's having a baby. He would if he could, you guys. And it's really funny because just the other night, did you guys hear the story just the other night that they, um, a lady had a baby um, with the new implanted uterus? Um, she'd had a uh, hysterectomy or whatever, and then they did a, uh, the implanted uterus, and she had a baby. And the first thing out of Chuck's mouth was, we're one step closer to men being able to have children. I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> I think it's kind of weird. <laughs> it is kind of weird, but it's kind of cool. I mean, they've been working for, towards it for years, so anyway. All right, you guys. <laughs> I don't know, Sandy. The actual grandpa and the baby will be growing up together. <laughs> it's about time. Margaret. You're going to get me kicked off Facebook with your potty mouth, good friend. 
I'm joking. You know I'm joking. How did your how did your little experiment um yeah, gaga is about right. How did your experiment go earlier, Maggie? Yeah, Jan, they um somebody had a, a uterus transplant not too long ago and uh they just had the baby like last week. So, you were getting off saying goodnight and that brought you right back. Goo goo gaga. No, we're talking gaga, lady gaga. Gaga. Yeah, it was like, whoa. <laughs> it's all good, though. I like it. It's all good. So, all right, you guys. Let's plan on a party tomorrow night. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday. Thursday and then Friday night. Isn't tomorrow Wednesday? Tomorrow's only Wednesday. See, I'm going to the ocean Saturday, and that's why this week is dragging. Margaret. <laughs> ah, you guys are crazy. All right, you guys, tomorrow night, get some, get some orders in. Get some orders in. I can't give stuff away unless you guys get some orders in. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, nice to see everybody. Nice to see the new people on. Welcome to the Pearl family. We are always looking for more. I don't know what they're even talking about. All right, you guys. Good night. Lots of loves. Lots of hugs. And we'll see you tomorrow night.